roll down a grassy bank, pay yourself a compliment, kiss someone, take some time doing absolutely nothing, tell a joke, watch the clouds, have a nice long soak in the bath, smile at a stranger, take an afternoon nap, eat some chocolate. Hello everybody, I hope we're all safe and well staying alert in this time of COVID-19 and staying sane in this time of restriction. Here in the safeguarding and counselling teams, we like to give ourselves an odd treat, and I generally believe this to be a good thing for all of us. Especially at difficult times, a little treat can lift our spirits. So that's the theme for this week's podcast, Treats. In preparation for this recording, I've looked back through all my materials as I felt sure I had a list of treats that I used as a handout in a training session or something years ago. What I found was several such lists. This has obviously been something that I've focused on for many of my sessions. I blame my Nan. I introduced it to you in the first podcast, and another piece of Nan wisdom comes to mind as I think about treats. Count your blessings, my son was something she often reminded me to do as I was growing up. Focus on the positive. Recognise the things that are good. Celebrate even the smallest of achievements. Count your blessings, my son. So, from all these various lists of treats that I've put together over the years, I've come up with a long list that I want to share with you today. But I'll do it in stages. I started with some and we'll put some more in as we go along. I have an exercise that I want to share with you as usual, another visualisation, and then a few recommendations as well. Talk to a pet. Send a message to a lonely person. Walk barefoot on the grass. Bake a cake or some bread. Volunteer some time to a good cause. Reread a favourite book. Keep a nature diary. Hide a love note so a loved one will find it. Look at the stars. Pay someone a compliment. Or perhaps pay ourselves a compliment by way of a positive affirmation. I found a lovely article on the web with examples of positive affirmations, how they work and how to work with them at a website called theblissfulmind.com. Really lovely article. But it's also been my experience that over the years, the best affirmations are the ones that we gather for ourselves. Taking a note when we hear something that we find encouraging or uplifting. Perhaps keeping a list for reference. Or make ourselves a set of cards to pick from daily. Grow some plants. Let someone do you a favour. Write a poem. Sing in the shower. List ten things you do well. Rearrange a room. Tell someone you love them. Clear out your purse or wallet. Smell a flower. Enjoy some silence. We need to do a bit of preparation for today's visualisation. I want us to spend a few moments counting our blessings. Blessings come in all shapes and sizes, all cultures and contexts. I want you to think about the things that really make you smile. Now, these might not be the things that we're closest to or the things that we love most, but I want you to think about the things that really make you smile. So let's start with the people. Who are the people who always make you feel good? They always bring a smile to your face. And the animals, we mustn't forget the animals, perhaps a pet or perhaps a particular species of animal. What are the animals that make you feel good? And then places. What are your go-to places that always make you smile? And activities, what are the things that you do that always make you feel good? Your favourite activities... Those that always make you smile. Perhaps you have 
religious or spiritual practices that are uplifting for you. And then what of memories? What memories do you think of when you want to feel good? Not forgetting our senses, what are your favourite tastes and smells? Those things that always raise your spirits. And what of colour? What are your favourite colours? And then the music. What's the music that always makes you feel good? Perhaps you've got a playlist somewhere with those feel-good tracks on. What are those things that always raise a smile? Get to know a tree. Practice courage in some small way. Dance. Make a surprise gift. Give someone a foot massage. Make a bug hotel for the garden. Use a new word. Look at old photos. Get up for the sunrise. Laugh at yourself. OK, let's have a go at this visualisation. So make yourselves as comfortable as you can as we really take the energy down. Keep everything uncrossed. Maybe an extra cushion or a bit of extra support or maybe that, that limb needs stretching. Get yourself really comfortable and close your eyes. But if you don't want to close your eyes, Keep your focus really, really soft. And we'll start by taking a few deep breaths in your own time, really filling your lungs and really emptying your lungs. In and out. Deep, refreshing breaths. And then let your breathing return to a gentle, natural rhythm. If at any time you feel uncomfortable, don't be afraid to move or to change your position. And if at any time you find it hard to focus, sometimes a few deep breaths can bring you back into the moment, back into your body. This is a time for relaxation. Push all your cares to one side, just for a short time. This is a time when nobody needs your attention, so you can focus on you. Scan down through your body. See where there's any tensions or discomforts. And start with head and neck, shoulders and back, chest and stomach, arms and hands, abdomen and pelvis, legs and feet. Any tension in your body, don't try and push it away. Just be aware of it. Recognize it. Make that part of your body as comfortable as you can. And I want us to start the visualization with a smell. I want you to imagine that your nose is filled with your favorite aroma. Imagine yourself breathing in the smell that you identified as your feel-good aroma. With each breath, you'll have a lovely wave of that favourite smell. I want you to imagine that you have in front of you a pin board and a pile of pictures. Firstly, I want you to make sure that the pin board is your favourite colour. Make sure that it's coloured in your favourite 
feel-good colour. And then I want you to have a rummage in the pile of photos. And I want you to find pictures of your feel-good people. Imagine pulling those photos out of the pile and arranging them on your pinboard in whatever pattern pleases. Don't think about any order or priority. Just arrange them in a pleasing pattern. Your pictures of your feel-good people. And imagine taking a step back and admiring how you've put those together. Now I want you to add in pictures of your favourite feel-good places. Choose the best pictures that you have in your pile that represent the best of your feel-good places. And again, arrange them in a pattern that's pleasing to you. And take another step back and admire your handiwork so far. So now your pin board has pictures of your feel-good people and places. We're going to add some more pictures. The pin board might have to be bigger than you first imagined. That's okay. Imagined pin boards can grow easily in our mind's eye. Now from your pile of photos, I want you to visualize yourself selecting pictures that represent some feel-good activities. These again might be particular people or places. They may be pictures of a particular event or maybe a piece of equipment. It doesn't matter as long as they represent for you your favorite feel-good activities. Those activities that always raise a smile. Add these into the collage of pictures on your pinboard and again step back and admire how good your collection looks and all it represents. You may want to add other things to your pinboard, other things that make you smile. Maybe a bit of decoration just for aesthetics. Or maybe symbols that have particular meaning for you. I want you to hold this clear image of your feel-good, favourite pinboard in your imagination for a few moments. Really lose yourself in the images and the feelings that these images stir. And then one last addition. I want you to imagine your own soundtrack. As you look at your pinboard, listen to your favourite music whilst admiring all the feel-good people, places and activities laid out before you. Let that feel-good soundtrack play out. This image is one that you can always take with you. This feeling of relaxation, this feeling of affirmation can always be yours. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes, but hold on to this image. Take it with you. Enjoy. I'm going to count backwards from five to one. And when I get to one, I want you to open your eyes. Five, four, three, two, one. Whilst you're feeling chilled, let's have a few more treats. Draw a picture, even if you can't draw. Listen to your favourite music. Lie on the grass. Learn something new. Have breakfast in bed. 
Contact someone you've been thinking about. Make a daisy chain. Break a bad habit, even just for today. Play poo sticks. Read a poem aloud. As usual, I have an app recommendation for you, and it's Shine. Uh, easily available. Uh, again, lots of good, positive, affirming content. Since signing up with them, I get a text uh, when I switch on my phone in the mornings with a positive affirmation, which always gives me a moment of mindfulness. Create some wild art. Try a new food. Hum. Start a new project. Allow yourself to make a mistake. Return something you've borrowed. Organise some small corner of your life. Let someone love you. Watch the birds. Make a list. Sometimes it can be a real treat to reach out to somebody. This is one that we love in the safeguarding and counselling teams. Not only reaching out to others, but also having people reach out to us. If we can help with anything, our contact details are on the website. Until next time, stay safe and well.